All right, time for lesson number six. This lesson will help you not only when you go flying, but in all walks of life. It covers the weather, what causes it, how it behaves, and how you can deal with it. Let's join our instructor in the classroom and get started. Hi everybody, I'm Dave Slusky once again for ASA. It's time on our course to talk about weather for commercial pilots. Now an awful lot of this is going to be review from your private pilot and your instrument flying courses. Nonetheless, there is stuff we need to go over, even some new items. So without further ado, let's get started. Weather for the commercial pilot. Here we go. Here are our lessons for this segment. First up, the atmosphere. What is the atmosphere? What are the certain percentage of gases, oxygen, nitrogen, and the rest of the gases? Winds, both at the surface and aloft. Stability of the atmosphere. What does this mean? What is a stable atmosphere? Humidity. Clouds, cloud identifications. Air masses. Fronts, cold front, warm front occluded. Thunderstorms. Icing. And last but never least, microbursts and how they affect you and how to look out for them. Now the atmosphere fluctuates continuously as it tries to reach equilibrium in pressure, temperature, and in humidity. Now the standard atmosphere is an average condition of all of these fluctuations. Now the standard rate of change in a standard atmosphere is about one inch per 1,000 foot gain in altitude in the troposphere. Here's a weather fact for you. The standard sea level pressure is 29.92 inches of mercury, or about 1013 millibars of mercury. The standard sea level temperature is 59 degrees Fahrenheit, or 15 degrees Celsius. The standard rate of change in pressure is about 1 inch of mercury per 1,000 foot gain in altitude in the troposphere. Pressure decreases as you increase in altitude, or simply stated, the further you go up, the more the barometer drops. Now, meteorologists, folks, look at the atmosphere like you would a layer cake. There are several different layers to the atmosphere, and they are from the bottom up, the troposphere, the tropopause, that's the top part of the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, and the very top layer, there is the thermosphere. Okay, the atmosphere again, here we go. Virtually all aviation weather, folks, takes place in the bottom two layers of the atmosphere. They are the troposphere and the stratosphere. The troposphere ranges anywhere from 20,000 feet at its very top near the north and south poles to about a 65,000 foot elevation near the equator. The stratosphere is typified by a relatively small change in temperature with height, except for some warming right near its very top. All right, here's the big question. So what causes weather? Well, it's a simple answer. All weather is caused by a change in temperature. 